Hello everyone, welcome to Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. I am working on decorating my Easter eggs today. I hope that you will join me for a cute idea. For this project, you are going to need some eggs in any size you like. I will be using these large eggs. They are five and a half inches tall and about four inches wide. I will also be using these assorted gemstones and they come in very pretty Easter colors. You will also need some glue or you can use your glue gun and I will be using my glue gun on low setting. It is also helpful to have a tray or a plate available so you can put your gemstones in. You know, makes less of a mess. I will let you know if I use any additional supplies to complete my project. I have my tray here and I just dumped a whole bag of gemstones in here. I do have two bags of gemstones available, so we'll see how far this gets me. I'm gonna move that aside and I'm gonna start with the violet egg. I also want to mention, make sure you have extra glue sticks if you're using a hot glue gun. Now to start on my egg, I do not have a set pattern. I want to do just random in random sizes because I do have multiple size gemstones in here. I think that I will start at the tip and then just work my way around. So these gemstones have that silver backing. So that's why I went to use uh, my glue gun on a low setting. And see how well this works out. So just attach it. And I bought the eggs that has that fuzzy finish. I was thinking it would work better this way. I thought about using the paper mache one now you can do that if you like but you would have to paint your egg first before you attach anything to it Ooh, a little too much but that's okay I'm gonna disguise it so I think this one will work better because that fuzzy on the egg it will catch the gemstone to it now, I would love to put my little heating um, protectors on, but because the gemstones or some of the gemstones are really tiny, I'm going to have problems. I'm just going to be very careful handling uh, my gemstones. I'm going to do my best not to get any hot glue on my fingers. Maybe if I squeeze just a little bit of glue out. Ah, there we go. And then touch it to the back of my gym. And then add. So I like the color eggs because see any space that you have in between the gems that color will um, help to disguise that. Let's see. I seem to be picking up just purples and pinks. So yeah, this is going to take a moment so I will put on some music and you know if you prefer you can jump ahead or you can craft with me.
I've decided to grab some tweezers. Look, it has the that flat base. I don't remember where I picked this up, but this might work. It'll, it'll save my finger a little bit so I can grab it like this. You need something with a wide um, tip to catch. I'm liking the way it looks right now. I'm happy with it. I will continue building on this. I'm just about done. I just need a, a couple more little pieces right here. Now how closely you put your gems together is all up to you. Because I'm using a colored egg, I can get away with the, you know, the background of my egg showing. Now, let's see, I think I need purple. It helps a lot, you know, to have a colored egg. And the tweezer is very helpful also. I think this is good. Look, let me move this stuff. So you can get a better idea of what my egg looks like so far. Here is my new Easter egg. Look how cute it turned out. I am quite happy with my new Easter egg. Well, I love it. I love that I went with the multicolor egg. Look how adorable is that? I love it. And I put uh, gemstones all over it, even on the bottom. 
and it still stands because my egg is designed to have a flat bottom so it works out really well look at that isn't that adorable I'm quite happy with it so if you plan to design one of these eggs um, in the egg size that I have used uh, five and a half by four inches you will need one full bag and I do have uh, plenty of the tiny gemstones left look at this I end up using all of my two larger sizes and I do have a good selection of small ones left over and I will use that in another project so I will will need three full bags to complete three eggs. Isn't that adorable? I hope you guys like this project and that you give it a try. Well, thank you for stopping by. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas, and I will see you next time.